Could you talk about then the transition based, you know, from the clinical trial, the platforms we have to these decentralized trials? Yeah, sure. So um, decentralized trials were, you know, 10 years ago, probably more even. Uh, and um, the idea behind it is, is, as you know, is for to take some of the burden off the patient's sh shoulders and not ask them to come to the clinic every time for everything and to drive uh, 40, 50 miles uh, in order to get to the clinic and get to the visit or get to a treatment or to, to do anything. Um, and basically the idea was you stay at home and we either come to you, so we send a nurse over, so she collects the information that is needed, or you are just wearing this wrist and it will be transferring information, or you will just go on a digital application or on your mobile and report something and answer some questions in the ECOA. Um, and this is how we're gonna get the information. So it was the alternative actually from having on, on site and traditional uh, trials to, to, to have it at home. Uh, COVID came out and definitely gave a great push to that idea because patients just could not come to the clinic uh, because of obvious reasons. And now thousands of trials got stuck. And the only solution was let's go for decentralized trials. So uh, let's keep them at home and let's start collecting data while they're at home. Um, lately, they're talking about hybrid so, okay, we understand that not everything could be done at home. Definitely many things, uh, some tests uh, have to be done in the hospital. Some data that need to be collected have to be done um, at, at, at the clinic. So to have a hybrid where some of the things you'll do from home, some of the things you will do from, from the hospital. So this is what uh, is, is out there currently and companies that are, you know, running these kind of trials today.